Hi, what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to use the computer and this mobile phone to find your tracking device. Now, I've installed a tracking device in my boat and it's out on a swing mooring uh, in the next bay. I'm going to start by sending it a text message. It's addressed to the phone number of the SIM card that I've installed in that tracker. The text message simply says 1234-S. 1234 is the default password and S simply requests a position from that tracking unit. So I'm send, sending the text message off now. So I'll wait for a reply from that. It should take about 30 seconds. And then what I'm going to do, I've brought Google Maps up on the computer. I'm going to type in the latitude and longitude and that should take us uh, to the position of the boat and we'll get a picture of exactly where it is. Now this phone can be connected to the internet either using Wi-Fi or through the GPRS. There's the message just come through now, so let's have a look at it. Okay, so it's from the GPS tracker. I know that because I named the phone number GPS tracker, I gave it a name. It says single mode. It's got a link to maps.google slash maps and then it's got a latitude and longitude in that address. This one, because I've connected to the bilge alarm uh, float switch on the boat also contains the switch positions and I can see that nothing's changed there so it's safe. Okay so what I'm going to do now is type the latitude and longitude that I received in the text message into the computer screen on Google Maps. There's two numbers that come through on the text and we type them there and I'm going to click here on search maps. Let's have a look at what happens. Look at the screen here. This has brought a picture up. Now you can actually see two things on the screen. One is a marker. The red marker here is one that somebody else has installed as a place of interest on the maps. That's not actually the position of the tracker. This one here is the position of the tracker. And if I zoom in on that, there we go there. And I happen to know that that's exactly where it is. I was out there this morning checking on it. What I'm going to do now is click on the satellite view and watch what happens. It pulls up a recent satellite picture. There we go there. So here's the main marina and uh, here's the position of my boat out here. Here's uh, the mobile phone with the message on it. I, I don't know whether it's uh, showing up very clearly there, but it has a link to Google Maps. I've just highlighted the link and clicking on it to open the link. Now that's going to ask me would I like to connect to the internet. Yes, I would. And I'm going to use GPRS to connect to the internet. So I'll just click on that. Now I know with the mobile phone it will bring up the same picture from Google Maps because it's getting it from the same server. Okay, so it's coming up on the phone now. I'll just wait for that to download. It's a little bit slower on the phone. And there it is there. That's the exact same picture. Tomorrow I'm going to show you how to use the GPS direction finder that comes with most of these mobile phones. We'll type the latitude and longitude in it and we'll actually go out there in the boat and check on the position of the tracker.